Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason Bees. I am hatching bees right now, which means I am taking old nesting material, bamboo and logs with holes drilled in it, and I'm using the technique where I put them in a clear plastic bin, and then I open the lid and I release the bees, and then I close the lid because I don't want them to go back in and use this nesting material. You guys, these bees that are emerging from the logs with the holes drilled and the bamboo are completely covered in pollen mites. And I know I reiterate all the time the importance of doing the three key steps to hosting mason bees. One, putting clean nesting material out at the beginning of spring. Two, removing that nesting material at the end of spring because mason bees only live six to eight weeks. You want to get them out of the summer predators and summer elements. And then three, the key component is harvesting and cleaning all your cocoons and nesting material in the fall. When you don't, this is what happens. These bees are emerging from this nesting material. I don't know how long these homeowners had these nesting blocks outside. They look amazing. They're all covered with mud plugs. Looks like they're thriving and doing well, but these bees are emerging completely covered in pollen mites. It's really hard and really sad to see because it's so simple to do this step to clean your nesting material so that these bees don't have to crawl through the pollen mites to get out of that nesting chamber and then they get completely covered in pollen mites. So I'm going to flip this camera around. I'm going to show you my setup and what you can do to transition from old harmful nesting material to new healthy nesting material, stacking trays, cardboard tubes, material that you can open and clean. And I'll transition also and I'll show you some close-up videos of these bees covered in pollen mites. So come on. All right, so this is my current setup. I am sitting here in the forest because I do not want these bees to go out in my garden. Um, I release really strong, healthy, clean cocoons and clean bees. So I don't want um, the bees in here to contaminate my flowers in my garden and sprinkle pollen mites where my healthy bees will bring them back. Um, so let me show you what I have going on in here. So these bees, it's a nice sunny day. So these bees are all emerging right now from unhealthy nesting material. And it's nesting material that can't be cleaned. And I'm not sure, like I said, how long these mason bee houses were out, but they were all completely covered with mud plugs and now the bees are emerging and I'm opening the lid, I'm letting them fly out and then I put the lid back on so that they don't um, you reuse this nesting material. And I'll, I'll switch over to my macro lens, but you can see these bees are completely covered, completely covered in pollen mites. And it's just awful. It makes me sick to see because you guys, it's such an easy, simple step to harvest and clean. If you don't want to harvest and clean, that's where the rental part is. You just send them back to us. We do all the cleaning, but if you have the methods and the capability to open everything up and clean yourself, I'll put links down below on how to do this yourself. But uh, let me transition and so show you some of these bees up close. Okay, so this little bee just emerged from the wood block and you can see they are covered in pollen mites. It's just sad. And then these little bees over here just emerged from the bamboo and they are also completely covered in pollen mites. So it's really, really easy to take care of these bees if you are hosting them yourself. Um, one, stop using these bamboo cute little bee houses um, and then stop using the logs with holes drilled them. Um, use nesting material that you can open and clean and put fresh nesting material out at the beginning of every spring. This little bee is crawling out of moldy bamboo covered in pollen mites and getting tangled in little spider webs there. There's another bee covered in pollen mites. Okay, this little bee just emerged from the log with the holes drilled in it, and it's completely covered in pollen mites. And as you've seen with some of our video with them under the microscope, 
these pollen mites don't go away. They just multiply rapidly and over time it will um, cover this bee's body entirely with pollen mites. It's almost already there right now, but you can see how many pollen mites are clinging to the back of this poor little bee. All right, I know some of that footage is hard to see, um, but I wanted to share with all of you why it's so important to take the critical steps in caring for these bees. I know millions of bee hotels are sold every year. There's never any instructions on how to care for them. And people have really great intentions of setting out a bee hotel to help their mason bee populations. But if you're not harvesting and cleaning, you're actually gonna do more harm because this is these are the baby bees that mom laid last season. They're crawling through pollen mites to emerge sprinkle pollen mites all over your flowers and then other bees are going to collect them and bring them back. So you can stop that cycle by cleaning and harvesting. You're still going to have pollen mites in your flowers. You're not 100% going to get rid of them. But when you see some of the videos that I do where we open up the nesting chambers and you see the pollen mites inside, it's so easy to open up nesting chambers and remove the pollen mites, the Houdini fly, the chalk root, all these predators that can really harm our bees. So I'm gonna link a bunch of things down below. I'll put um, some of my educational YouTube videos, how to harvest and clean, how we harvest and clean for you if you wanna go that route. Um, identify what's inside your nesting block. I'll link a whole bunch of stuff down below. And then yes, please follow our YouTube channel. I'm always posting new videos. Check out our website at rentmasonbees.com and feel free to reach out to me at any time at info at rentmasonbees.com. All right, please take care of your bees. Happy pollinating. Bye.